Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we're doing something we've done a little in the past, but I want to try to make it a little bit more regular. Um, one thing that UntappedGG offers is format volume of games played. And from here we can extrapolate how popular various formats on MTG Arena are. Now the caveat being for us to track this, the users have to be using UntappedGG, uh, which is like a companion tool. So this isn't going to be the full population of every user, but it does provide a lens in terms of like the more enfranchised or a little bit more competitive. Generally speaking, the more competitive will generally have some sort of tracker tool that's involved. Uh, just kind of seeing where the format distribution list lies. Um, from the information that Wizards put out, they said Standard was the most popular, followed by Brawl, Historic, Alchemy, and then Explore. Looking at these numbers, so we're going to kind of look at um, from untapped from uh, September 5th through October 19th. Uh, so this is one kind of snapshot period of time in terms of volumes of games. I am going to start recording uh, every week kind of a snapshot, and then I'm going to start putting out some trending analysis that I can share with you all. To kind of see, while this is a snap of time, I'd be interested to see, you know, are formats getting more popular, less popular, whatever it may be. Um, so kind of just looking really quickly at this, uh, we have best of one and best of three. Best of one is the blue box, and then uh, orange is best of three. So, uh, quickly looking, standard best of one is the most popular format in this period of time. There's 2.2 million games played. Sharing that in terms of contrast, it's almost 10 times the next, like closest 60 card constructed format, which is standard best of three. So by and far, folks are playing standard best of one the most, uh, which is kind of interesting when you think like. Magic is a best of three format, tournament modes, everything like that. Uh, the digital format is really kind of swaying towards these best of one over best of three. Stork Brawl is the next most played at 780,000. More casual, friendly format, uh, probably the most fun in quotes, by the sense that like there's no stakes to it. You can play as competitive as you want, you can play as jank as you want, and really gets you opportunities to try out more like that commander style effect. This is where it gets interesting. So we see Historic uh, Best of One and Explore Best of One, both relatively the same, 220 for Explore, 230,000 for Historic. It's really interesting to see the dichotomy between the Best of Three formats, where Explore almost at 90,000, 89,000, where Historic's only at 40,000. So less than half the, the games played in Best of Three. So we're seeing that despite what kind of Wizards said in their most recent uh, kind of post in terms of the status of the formats, Explorer is becoming more popular than Historic, at least in the best of three format. Again, caveat being users who use Untapped. Uh, and then lastly, this also, sorry, really quickly could be explained by maybe the Bowmaster meta, like the One Ring Bowmaster, where a lot of people, myself included, were kind of turned off of Historic, just given that everything was so cannibalized around Bowmaster. Uh, and then lastly, the failed science experiment time and time again, Alchemy. So this also includes the data from the most recent release of uh, Al Alchemy Wilds of Eldraine. Best of one, 41,000, and best of three, not even into the 10,000 range. 9,200 games played over a month and a half. So really not a lot of games being played. Um, there is kind of the conception that there's lighter competition there so you see some people grinding at times but really interesting to kind of see where the formats lay um, from a content creator standpoint it also kind of helps me to understand where like targeted well i love historic as my favorite format um the audience might not necessarily be there uh whereas you compare like standard best of one you get you're kind of reaching out to a much larger pool of folks but this is kind of what I've seen at this point in time. Like I said, uh, this was about six weeks, five, six weeks of data. I'm going to start doing trending. Once I get about a month's worth of trending, I'll start sharing the list. And as I kind of build it out, I'll create a Google Doc that I can share with you all and then kind of go from there. But let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, does this kind of match what your perception is? Are you shocked by any of these results? Um, and let me know. I always like to have a dialogue about stats, data. Uh, this is the thing that gets me the most interested in terms of looking at kind of correlations and just data in general. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great one and stay safe out there.